Premier Comrade Mielenkov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. The primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now deceased. So, what is being problem? The problem, Conrad, is that neurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? Uh. <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so must be. Destroyed! As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. Uh oh. Now that can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's big.
Vesem have been destroyed, and I've been blown to smithereens. Luckily, I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding it. I didn't bring any with me. Figured, uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia! Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core.
Understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orenchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. 
We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the freak. You're high too? Far out! What are you very What's with this pig thing? Am I putting on weight?
Go back to Berkeley, freak. for Mr. Jazz. First name Hugh. Please call back with an original joke, sir. A threat to our very way of life! Murphy? Hello, just wait a minute. The freak is supplying the whole damn commune at the park, and yet he still can't get any action. What a loser. Somebody there? I didn't know Sappho was in. That freak at the park should be put away for good. Ah! 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 I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. Hey, what's up, sir? Um, hey, look! Oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Ah, Blue meanies! Blue meanies! Better get going. I've got a awesome. I loved you in 2001. Yeah. Ah, wow. Flashbacks. You got I got no attention span. Thanks, Ash. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him? But I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eating out of his hookah. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. 
dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelate. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your it. Find some Revelate and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. What exactly is so bad about a police thing? Tiger Lily. Sorry. Huh? Drop it. And next week, we'll start one on one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm! Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifist. What a crumb. Remeter breached! Get Bong Water out of here! Hurry! Bong Water is being in danger! Get him out of here! Now! Out of my way, hard ass! Attacking! Firing! Okay, nobody take the yellow one! Prepare to die! I am choosing!
you? Responding, sir. There's nobody there but my Korean oh. flashback. How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Here's the thing. I found Bongwater, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were gonna get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man! It's what's on the inside! Gas! He's gonna gas the whole city with Revelade! Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Reveille. Didn't you hear me? Easy, man. Move out. What am I doing talking to this creep? Fox, we got a situation here. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet man. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Amuse thy languid Furon god, and stamp my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arkvoodle.
here, Crypto. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12, on the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. Luckily, I've detected more data calls from the mothership nearby, containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer up and flying. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh, yeah. It's payback time. I think it was an Earl. You want a little boom boom? Rebuff again! Run for your life! What's the buzz? Who's that? Tell me what's to happen. Yeah. Body snatchers. I hate you. Just body Right on! Time to boogie! Just in time! 
time, Crypto! Bombwater has launched his blips in the city! You must stop them from polluting the air with Revelay! You all right, man? So, uh, you into politics? That President Huffman's doing a heck of a job, ain't he? Huffman? Are you high? America's become like one giant Orwellian nightmare! Thanks to lying corporate flunkies like him, human race would be better off if he'd never been born! Well, I can't argue with that. Just tell me where Bongwater is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want to gather in dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bongwater? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude. Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. She sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right. I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence, see if I can convince her to give up bong water.
I wonder if Prudence is still out at the park. Man, she makes my head swim. Even when I'm not stoned. Prudence Keen was such a respectable young Berkeley co-ed until she joined those hippies in the park. By now, they've probably got her hooked on pots. I want to head down to the park. But if I do, I just know that Prudence chick's gonna try to unsnap my 501s again. Hmm. May as well get it over with. Our commune at the park just got... What? A park full of potheads, and you're telling me nobody here's ever had erectile dysfunction? Last time I open up to you people. Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy, so uh, where do I get me some? That's the best part! Our brothers and sisters are about to deliver the final batch of Revelade to our leader, Coyote Bongwater! He's gonna pour it into the bay! Soon the masses are gonna be begging us to lead them in revolution! Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass. And I haven't blown anything up for at least ten minutes. Rich like a figurative transforming robot. There's more to this than meets the eye. This Revelade isn't a coincidence. It's an attack! Take out those trucks immediately!
trucks could do. Now, by analyzing their route, I determined that their destination was the old fort on the hill. All water must be over there somewhere. Agent Orangeoff, come in! Uh, I failed! You'll have to... start the revolution without me! Yet. Yet? B but The city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo! We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. The party will... 
will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain, or in Jovald. But... no! No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done?! Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down. Chakra points up. And that's why I won't drop back. What's up, Tiger Lily? Ooh, yeah, you punks make me sick. Holy crap! Charge up, lady us! Who is it? Is it the pig? Just the gun. Wow. So, our Furon God is buried in effigy all over Earth. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Ah, yes. Arkvoodle of the Sacred Crouch. Prodigious in size, legend in potency and stamina. You put me in mind of him, Crypto, with your new clone's pure Furon DNA and restored genitalia. Yes, you are the spitting image of <gasps> Good go, Nats! The prophecy! What? What prophecy? It foretells the coming of a savior who will reassert the sexual dominance of the Furon race. Tis written in the holy book of Pudenda. And lo, a son of Arkfoodle shall rise newly born to prepare ye for that day when Arkfoodle shall come again. Wait a minute. It sounds incredible, I know. But Crypto, what if it's true? What if you're the one? 
Hmm, I did take a red pill this morning. Okay, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. How the hell am I supposed to bring about the second coming of Arkvoodle? The scriptures say Arkvoodle will return when enough seekers believe in him again. You mean, like, Tinkerbell? It's something like that. But Crypto, this is ideal! Humanity is desperate to reconnect the physical and spiritual! All that's needed is for you to spread the good pickup line of Arkvoodle! They're bound to follow you! You want me to start a cult? Basically. Hmm. Religion is the opiate of the masses. I like it. But how do I do it? Well, humans tend to sublimate their individuality into tribal units bound by social and political commonality. Such groups are full of docile sheep, ripe for conversion to the way of the sacred crotch. Hail, Arkvoodle! Time to get religious. Hallelujah. Before you do, it would be wise to go and seek the blessing of Arkvoodle himself. What? You mean one of those statues with a pigeon crap on it? Precisely. Seek the blessing of Arkvoodle, and your cult will prosper. If you say so, but I'm gonna feel like a putz. Don't screw with me, Jerry. I'm tripping. Ah! The glory of our Kudum grows from the highest state of chaotic fecundity. When the ring turns orange and the population's nerves are frayed, then shall the ground be fit to sow, and the masses shall follow. Thus spake Arkvoodle. Bound, chicka, bound, down. Yeah. Ah, I I high, man. Never gonna let you <laughs> Make me come back there.
Can I help you? Stop. Little green man! Somebody call 911! Chakra points. Mm -hmm. Ooh. See, kids? Move your ass, Patty! Finally! My gun was getting lonely! Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Prison Island? The KGB are holed up in Australia? Uh, no. Humans have many prison islands, apparently. It's one area in which they are highly evolved. The locals refer to this one simply as... The Rock. Okay, then. Time to put the KGB between the rock and my hard place. Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Meet for it. That Agent Orinchov told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. All right. I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. My patience is at an end, Gosbodin. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. Silence! The workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. You don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Ivan? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker, even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly! You can't beat that kind of muscle! Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City? these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz! Damn it! We need Bay City! Hey, Ruski, give me those docks! <laughs> 